Alright, so I'm making this video because I just I just watched Conspiracy Underground's video from a couple days ago, and I I don't know why, uh, but but he's he, he mentioned my name and not even the name of my channel, but my actual name. Whenever he was talking about uh, TIs that that just like do drugs and talk about B2K. And, and I don't understand why, <laughs> because I don't I don't give voice to skull. I, I've never claimed that I did. Um, I don't I don't call out people that claim it and tell them that they're fucking lying either. That's that's wrong. I try to find solutions. That's what, and it's clear you can clearly see that if you watch any of my any of my videos or anything that I talk about. I'm trying to find solutions. So I have refrained from posting my videos of the local gang stalking that I get all day, every day, because when I do put anything up, I get the people in my town, the local people, then they then post comments and they go around and they try to paint me as crazy because, and like I'm a danger because I'm video recording them, calling them, telling, saying I'm gang stalking them when they have an excuse for what they're doing. So you see the danger in, in putting the videos up of people that I don't even know and calling them gang stalkers when, when there's no way to, to prove that they're gang stalking. So we're just going to go like this. We're just going to say that this is, here's just one incident. I, I just pulled up one from, this is back from April 23rd. I was heading out to pick my son up from work and I experienced what is... <laughs> I believe is absolutely gang stalking. It's what they're doing to me, and they do this every day, all day. Um, but we'll just watch here, and I'll, I'll, you know, I'll tell you what I believe as it's happening here. So, um, now I'm heading out. I'm going to encounter a jeep right, right in front of me, and they, they slow down. So that I catch up to them, right? Now, it could be just somebody driving. It could be a normal person driving, right? But I've noticed this vehicle several times and to where I know personally, like, it's beyond coincidence, you know, this, this particular Jeep. And I've also seen different people driving it, several different people. And in one case, a kid pulled into a store that I was in in this Jeep and when he walked in, somebody said, oh, did you get another new vehicle? And the kid said, no, no, it's not mine. And that was where he left it, just at, right there at that. So I didn't say anything, but it's the tactics they use. They swap vehicles around, and it's never the same person driving that same vehicle. It's a tactic that they use in gang stalking. And, um, of course, I could be wrong on all of this, right? I could be. But... What they'll do is they, they make sure that they, they can herd you, right, and make sure that they control where, when you're going to get to where you're going so that they can be all ready with their, with their fucking street theater, and which you're going to see here, okay? And it's, <laughs> of course, it, it could just be that everybody is leaving at the same exact time whenever I show up to this place, right? Of course, it could just be that that everybody happens to be leaving exactly when I show up to this place. And now I am going to point out that this is more than normal traffic, but it's because there was a car show going on out here at this state park, at, or Pennsylvania State Park here. Um, and like I said, I don't play into this shit because that's what they want you to do. I don't do anything that, that I feel like they want me to do. I don't do it. That's how I've been able to maintain my credibility, you know, or so I thought. It's a, you know, Conspiracy Underground says that it's trying to lump me into uh, into somebody that does does drugs, does meth, does all this shit, and B2K. I don't understand why. I asked I asked him in the comments of his video what made him associate my name with that. Um, I have my suspicions. <laughs> But I'm not going to say it because that's not going to solve anything. 
you know, if, if I suspect that he's, he's just, you know, putting my name to try to ruin my credibility, uh, I don't know why, um, I, like I said, I can, I can speculate, but I'm not going to do that, because that's, that's what they want you to do, anyway, this is the tactics they use, so <clears throat> I'm going to fast forward this, um, this Jeep is going, you know, I, I can't show you because you can't see the speed. I mean, I could figure it out based on the distance and the time it takes me to get from here to there, what the average speed is. But I just remember um, we were going incredibly slower than the speed limit. Um, <clears throat> this, this road, people typically go 55 on. Um, now, there was more traffic than normal, but I think we were doing about 35 here, right? And then they, they continue to put their brakes on at different times, too, even though they're going way under the speed limit. So this is the tactics that they do. They follow you from in front, okay? <clears throat> Sounds funny, but that's what they do. They follow from in front. It's like hurting you, you know? And whenever whenever this one will pull off, another one will pick up the tail. I'm going to show you this here. This is, this is where... Um, their tactics, I can sh literally show you their tactics that they use. As soon as he pulls off, you're going to see a car in front, but they're a little bit too far in front. They didn't time it just right. So this car that's way, 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 way in front, right? Whenever I see it, I'm just going the speed limit after this car pulls off. And the car that's, that's way on the other end of this straight stretch, pretty much, which is almost a quarter mile. It's unbelievable how fast I'm able to catch up to them, okay? And then at the end, you'll, you'll, you'll see the, you know, the, like the smoking gun evidence here of, of the finale of their whole little charade here that they're doing. Okay, so he pulls in. And like I said, I've seen that Jeep follows me. It, that Jeep is involved in my gang stalking, okay? Now, is that when I come up over the hill here, You're gonna see here. Let me just fast forward a little bit here because it's there's a little curve, I believe. Yeah, a couple little curves. Okay, now, right here, this is where they didn't time it right. Okay. Now I'm gonna pause it right here, and I'm gonna zoom in. Okay, I don't know why I did this this whole video. Fucking straight up and down. I'm an idiot. But these vehicles, okay. They're way down here. They're together. They're lumped up. And the distance between me and them vehicles, I'm zoomed way in. It's, it's pretty significant. Okay? And they start putting on their brakes. Right? They're already together. Okay? And now, the length, if you know this straight stretch, you know this, this is a very, very, very long straight stretch. So whenever I came over the crest of that hill, like, let me zoom out. Like, I was way, way, way back there. But amazingly enough, just going the speed limit, I'm able to just catch up to these people like, like that. Just in that short distance. <laughs> or that that short time, I would say. You know, that that's it's kind of crazy to think that I could catch up to those two vehicles when they're already almost at the other end of this straight stretch and I'm just, just cresting the hill. The fact that I was able to catch up to them is you know, proof positive for me, they were, you know, they were going slow so that they could then be the next people following me from in front, right? So, um, we're almost to the spot where I pick my son up, okay? So fast forward here a little bit. Now, right up here, of course, one of them's going to turn off at the crossroads, okay? And the other one, look, the other one, they start putting their brakes on. Did you see that? Now, well, there's, there's a car in front of them, but they start putting their brakes on. They were already going super fucking slow, like super, super slow. So when they come around the corner, it's funny that there's already a car waiting there, heading that way, and they put their brakes on, right? And then that car puts their brakes on. There's nothing in front of them. They were getting ready to pull off right there, which is funny. Now, watch this. Check us out. Okay. Now, you notice here, as soon as I pull in, these three immediately start heading towards their car immediately right which okay could be normal right 
but check us out and watch as soon, as soon as I go a little further hold on let me zoom out because yeah you're gonna see a group a whole group of them the bad actors right get ready to see a whole group of bad actors here check this out here they all come Boom. see these get these are all a bunch of young kids gang stalking right and then also let me rewind it these people over here they're involved as well the ones over here with the baby stroller and everything they're coming they're all heading this way as well they're all heading over to this side of the parking lot where none of them i mean, I mean it's a whole parking lot why they didn't park in the parking lot i don't know okay i have no idea and the fact that they're heading this way which which would make you uh, think that I can speculate that they must be parked over here. These cars on the left up here, okay? These vehicles on the left. They're certainly not in the parking lot because they're heading this way out of the parking lot in a big group of people, just like these ones with the stroller over here. And I'll show you how I know that. They're not in that little gray car right there, okay? Because that little gray car... You see that kid walking across right there? He is heading over to that car to drive it. These three start walking towards me, just like everybody else, okay? Now I pull in, and there's garbage cans everywhere around the outside. So where, they, where those people were just standing, there are garbage cans, okay? Right where they're at. There's also garbage cans everywhere else. Now for somebody to come up here and go out of their way, this is one of the, the 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 chick that was that was pushing the stroller. Okay, now, like I said, it's just speculation. I don't know if she's gang stalking me, but she goes that way, right? She goes to the right. See, she, she comes from the left, and she's not going back to the left where that car was. No. They're going with this group of kids over that way, okay? So, they're all together. They're all doing the same thing. And this parking lot's huge. There's tons of space to park in here. Why are they not all parking in this parking lot? You got me. There's a garbage can right over there where they're at. There's garbage cans to the left. There's garbage cans where they're heading. Okay? I, I know this because my son worked there. My daughter worked there. They were... You know, uh, and like you can't make this shit up, right? I mean, check this out. As soon as I pull in, they all hurry up, throw the shit away, and then they're they're done, right? Like they were waiting for me, and then they all come walking across the parking lot just right by me, right? That kid's going back over to his car, and then those three are coming this way, pushing the baby stroller, right? And then she makes sure that she comes in front. Because they need somebody for me, that, you know, with the biggest victim. If I, if I claim this girl's gang stalking me, I'm such a dangerous, horrible person that I'm claiming that, that a pregnant girl pushing a baby stroller and a kid could, could be doing something like this, right? I'm a danger then to society, right? So that's, that's basically the, uh, the gist of it, okay? So if, you know, Conspiracy Underground, you want to... You want me to show you, you know, you want to see the gang stalking, right? You want to see it. I, I just showed just, this is just one of very many, 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 many that I've documented. But I keep this stuff to myself because, and I have my reasons, like I told you. Because when I have posted anything like this, okay, the the parents and the family members of these people, somehow they're, Somehow, they're able to see my videos just like that. And as soon as they see my videos, right, immediately, <clears throat> like immediately, they start posting the fucking comments, okay, that I'm crazy and that I'm a creepy stalker, right? Let me show you here. For instance, when I did the one about the, uh, the FedEx vehicle, right, the FedEx vehicles, as soon as I uh, so. and let's look at the comments here. Twenty-five comments, okay? This is one video that I that I did just about something. And immediately, right away, 
I get uh, this fucking thing. Okay, anyway, I gotta pick one straight up and down or sideways. So I get this one. I pinned it. This is a person from my town. Okay, John, time to put the pipe down and stop making videos of me, my house, and my trucks. I had no idea whose house that the FedEx trucks were parked at. No idea. But it's amazing how they can just immediately see my video, and then not only that, okay, he comments on it, right? Uh, let's see. Nerve girl that tell, tells me to take care of my own stuff, of course. Um, and this this woman here, I've never seen or talked to her or met her in my life. But let's look at the replies here from Scott Delavelli's. Like, they don't post their own comments. They do it under this one, right? Okay, Michelle Paga. Instead of looking into my channel at all, or even questioning anything about what I'm claiming, Stalker John, you are creepy. Leave Scott the hell alone. That's just beyond strange that you would drive around and film his belongings. Like I said, I didn't know whose belongings it was. I just filmed something on my own personal page. So, you know, I responded to her. And it was because the person was gang stalking me. The, and they pulled into this driveway, right? And, but this is what happens when you when you do that, when you post your evidence, right? The actual video evidence. You post it, and then you get immediate pushback from these people. And I believe it's in an attempt to, to try to paint you as a dangerous person locally, right? They're going to tell me I'm dangerous, and they're going to use this to discredit me locally. And they're just going to throw wild accusations out there. Put the pipe down, John, right? So, so like this one here, at Targeted Patton. This is Michelle pa Paga, whatever. Uh, sounds like you're a little paranoid. I call it as I see it. Everyone knows your intent. <laughs> what is my intent? I don't know my intent. Um, so don't try and turn it around on other people and believe that you are the innocent one here. What, what do you mean, the innocent one? Uh, what I did is not, it's not a question of innocence or guilty. Why does one have to be innocent and one have to be guilty? You know what I mean? So, so if, you know, if I'm not the innocent one, that makes me the guilty one, doesn't it? Guilty of what? <laughs> Hardly. Just because someone is behind you driving and goes the same exact way you do one time. See, she doesn't even know what she's talking about. They were in front of me. <laughs> they followed from in front. They were in front of me. But anyway, um, does not mean they're stalking you. Your perception is definitely skewed if you think any different. So if I think any different, if I think gang stalking is even a thing, my perception is skewed. She and then she gives me an example because she leaves her house and drives behind the same person sometimes for 30 minutes on her way to work. Not because she's stalking them, but because they just so happen to be going the same way on back roads. Yes, and I agree that happens. That does happen. <laughs> it's normal life. People are human beings. They drive on roads. But she says there's help out there for people like you that need it. I encourage you to reach out to get some and leave innocent people alone. You definitely are the creepy stalker, no doubt. Right. Leave innocent people alone. So what about the people that are gang stalking? Because it is a thing. People do do it. They are doing it to me. But good luck with evidence. You see what I'm saying? Good luck putting your evidence out there. Okay. Conspiracy underground. So you're telling people to put their video evidence showing the gang stalking, right? Um, what happens then? What happens then? Does that solve it? Does that, I mean, you know what I mean? Does that, uh, do the people doing it get, get justice? No. <laughs> they get the ability to then paint you as some kind of dangerous, crazy person. And then she, they go even further. She, she, he sicks the women at me, right? Michelle Paga, who I have no idea who she is, never met her before, never, no idea. And I, I told her, you know, I'm sorry you have such a narrow perspective. I'm not the one harassing people. I'm curious what everyone thinks my intent is. I also call it as I see it and speak my mind. The only help I need is maybe getting some help filtering out the people who feel the need to stalk my YouTube channel with their assumptions and remarks insinuating that you have me and my situation all figured out based on one video you watched. Try saying less until you know more, and maybe you can save yourself from looking like a fool. 
You might care what others think about, about you, but I don't. Feel free to analyze me in the comments all you want. You're only helping my cause to spread awareness by expanding the conversation. And for that, I thank you. Hope you and yours have a great day. Keep spreading the love, okay? And then I also said I'm sorry, but I have to ask again, who is everyone and what is my intent? Why is there an innocent party here and does that mean that someone is guilty of something? I have all these questions, no, no assumptions. Think you could shed some light for my other viewers? Maybe they know what my secret intent is as well, but I'm, I'm a bit slow. So I need a little help figuring out what you're talking about. And, I, and then I, I went on for even further. It's called a camera, not a pipe. Honest mistake, though. And then I went even further and I said, after thinking about the whole situation, I felt it's important to let you know that I have nothing against you, Scott. But try not to be afraid of someone pointing out obvious things that you clearly aren't trying to keep private. Privacy is a thing of the past. You're welcome to watch my channel, but please keep your negative opinions to yourself. I'm not saying anything negative about you, but I will voice my opinion on my channel. That being said, I really don't care what you or anyone else thinks of me, so I wish you the best and hope you get help for your negative projections. And if I'm the shield that keeps you from doing it to others, then so be it. I forgive you. So that was just, just you know, one example of a video that I took and, and what happens when you put a video of your evidence around, you know, of the gang stalking. They want you to do it. I mean, that's... I thought that much was, was really easy to see. Um, Conspiracy Underground, what you don't see how that's really, really easy to see that. And you want, you want to tell people to, to post more videos of the gang stalking, right? The actual gang stalking. It may, maybe it'll help uh, people to see the tactics and everything. But we can talk about the tactics. We don't have to show the videos. Um, showing the videos, you see what damage can be done there, right? So um, I ask, I ask again, is it okay that we just talk about the tactics and we don't have to show the videos because the videos, they want you to do that, right? Am I right? I'd love your, your take on, on what I'm talking about here, Conspiracy Underground. I would love to hear what you think about about the whole thing. And if you put out, I, I don't, I, I haven't watched a lot of your channel. What I did hear from you, I liked. But then I seen this video from a couple days ago where you threw my name in the dirt and I don't know why. And I'm trying to figure that out. But um, I, see, I see a lot of you talking. Um, I didn't go into your channel and look at the evidence that you put out there. But I'm curious, the evidence, if you put out evidence, did you get pushback? Did you get people calling you out and calling you like dangerous and, and crazy for when you put videos? I'm going to check it out here, actually. I'm curious to see. And if you didn't, then I just kind of question why. That's, that's strange, isn't it? Because that's, that's what they do. Anybody who gets has a stun to them knows clearly that, that that's... The tactics they use and the stuff that they do to you for gang stalking is to get you to do a certain thing or act a certain way, to react a certain way. Then they already have a plan for when you do that. They already have the whole fucking thing figured out, you know. They want you to notice them. They want you to videotape them. They want you to do these things. You know, you can improve your life and and everything and ignore them as much as you can, but it's it's pretty hard when they fucking follow you everywhere you go and they do they're they literally make themselves a part of every aspect of your life all day every day and it's fucking sick it needs to stop okay and there is a lot of disinformation out there and they try to lump the gang stalking in with the v2k and in with the remote neural monitoring and i don't i try not to talk about the crazy stuff but i'm not going to deny it they, they, they're remote neural monitoring. Absolutely, they do it. I have fucking evidence to, to suggest it. I ask, I ask the people that, like White Rabbit, I just asked him earlier tonight in a video. I asked him, you know, why do you, why do you put these little comments just for me that can only 
be referring to what I was thinking about. I, I don't, I'm just curious, you know, is it just so that you can, you know, <laughs> um, let me know that, like a psychological thing, so let me know that you know what I'm thinking about, or what, like, what, what is it? I don't know, but, but don't try to say that's not part of it, too. That is absolutely part of it. I don't want to sound crazy, but they fucking do it, and it's coming to a point where if you don't already see these things, and you haven't already experienced the remote neural monitoring as a regular person, then you're under a rock or some shit. You're hiding, you're living under a rock because I literally fucking rarely go out and and interact with public and and this shit happens to me. Like living under a rock, pretty much. This shit happens to me. So if you're <laughs> if you're not living under a rock and you haven't experienced these things, then I don't know what to tell you. So it doesn't really sound that crazy when you talk about it because everybody has experienced something like this. Everybody, I think. I mean, everybody I talk to has, which is not very many people, but uh, everybody has a similar story about, you know, they're thinking about something and then, boom, you know, the synchronicities or whatever you want to call it. I don't fuck it. I don't pretend to know what it is. That's, that's where I get skeptical of the people that try to say what it is and what everything is. How the fuck do you know? That's what I want to know, Conspiracy Underground. How do you know all this stuff like you're some major expert on the subject? And you can't just Google something and say, There, I Googled it, you fucking idiot. Sorry, that doesn't work. <laughs> I mean, do you know how easy it is to get something on the Internet? If you Google, Google my name once. Google my name in Patton, Pennsylvania. See what comes up. And then you're going you're gonna to believe that because you Googled it? I can show you evidence that it's a fucking lie. And it's false. Yet it still shows up. As soon as you type my name in on Google, that's the first thing that pops up. So, say less until you know more. That's what I say. Say less until you know more. There's nothing wrong with having the conversation and talking about this shit. We're trying to influence people to do something. You know what you should do? Do what makes do what feels right. Do what you think you should do. Do it. Do what feels right to you. Don't do what somebody else tells you to do. Don't not do what somebody else tells you not to do. Do what makes what you think you should do, what feels right. Do that. And don't spread information if you don't know 100%. And I hate to say it, Conspiracy Underground, you don't know. A lot of the stuff you say, you don't know. You're just saying it like you know. You don't fucking know. And Google doesn't fucking know. So, so please don't put it out there like you know. Because there's a lot of people that, that will take that and run with it. And that's the problem. That's not the solution. That's the problem. People need to inform themselves. They need to look this stuff up themselves. Do the research themselves. Don't believe me. Don't believe him. Do the research yourself. Look into it yourself. I don't want you to believe me, and I definitely don't want you to believe him. Um, because, because if you believe him, then you believe what he said about me. And that's a fucking lie. And I don't understand why he did it. I'd like to know. I'm really curious. Because it's the first time I ever heard him say any, my name at all. And, and it wasn't even my channel name. It was my name. So that's, that's another red flag. I don't fucking get it. So... You know, conspiracy underground, come, why don't you come above ground and let's talk about this. Peace.